Here's Lori. So extension is looking really good. Body position is good. Breathing is comfortable. Uh, head is coming up just a little bit when you turn to breathe. Um, nothing terrible there. There's uh, some things underwater that I'm going to point out, and I put freeze frames at the end or still frames so you can really kind of see what's going on. One thing I would uh, you know think about or play around with here is just how long you're extending sometimes with that left arm so you can see how you extend and pause a bit. Um, it might be on the on the high side of of pausing or gliding. So that would affect your tempo. Uh, the technique, uh, you know, out of the water is all pretty smooth. So underwater, you're getting a, a pretty good catch with that right arm. Um, you know, getting the high elbow catch there. Your left arm, for not all of them, but you know, a good bit of them is what we would call a, the elbow drag. Uh, or the elbow slipping or elbow leading the stroke back. Something else that's going on with the uh, <coughs> excuse me with your with your hands is uh, a good bit with the the right arm as you get about halfway through your hand turns inward, so you're not getting. Uh, the grip, you know, through the second half of the stroke. You do a little bit of that with the left arm, but it's much more with the right arm. So you're getting a good catch with the right arm, but then the hand turns, so you're giving up the, uh, some of that leverage. So, looking at the, the right arm, you know, good extension, and then you rotate over to your side. Each of these is about three tenths of a second. And then you start the catch. So a good catch angle right here. That's great. This is very good. and then the hand starts to turn a little bit but a good catch angle the whole way through there so that's what you want to see with your stroke and then good rotation to the other side extension on the other side so looking at your left hand and arm this time again good, good reach forward and then if you kind of count three tenths of a second for each of these, you get three tenths, six tenths, nine tenths of a second, 1.2 seconds, 1.5. So a little too much glide on this left arm. Then you start to pull. And here you can see the elbow is sort of still in front of the arm or the hand and forearm aren't going vertical. So that's your big fix on that arm, trying to get that catch, you know, as well as possible. The hand position is good on this on this arm. So you, you keep the hand parallel to the back wall of the pool or pushing towards the back wall. A little bit of rotation there. All right, and then I froze the uh, the forward view as well. So, looking at your right arm, see the good catch angle going, and then the hand starts to turn right there. And then you can see your hand is like skinny from this view means it's not flat uh, to the back wall anymore. So. Your, that's that's going to be a big fix to keep that hand in the proper uh, orientation. Here, it's tough to see from the front, but you're getting the elbow leading the stroke there. But the hand does the right stuff, so the hand is is staying pretty flat to the back wall of the pool. Hope that helps.